OK, so to do a problem like this, um, again, basically what we were talking about was multiplying um, fractions times fractions. So here, I've thrown a mixed number times a whole number. So how is this going to relate to exactly fractions by fractions? Well, we're still going to write them. We're still going to multiply fraction by fractions. The main important thing is we want to convert our whole number to a fraction. Whenever we want to multiply a fraction times a whole number, just convert your whole number to a fraction. So that's very easily done. I just put it over 1, all right? Because negative 3 divided by 1 is still negative 3, right? Now I need to convert. Now I need to convert my mixed number to a fraction. So I do 8 times, um, 8 times 4, which is 32, and then plus 7, which is 39. Now, when we multiply fractions, please do not ever do this. OK? That, no, no. Please erase that from your memory. Do not ever cross multiply when you need to multiply fractions. All right? Cross multiplication is only used when we have a, frac when we have a ratio or a fraction equal to another fraction. Then we cross multiply. Here, when there's an equal sign in between them, that's when we cross multiply. All right? So when we're just multiplying, you just multiply across. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Now, I had some students that were struggling last class period, and it was kind of like they forgot what we had learned. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can try to do this in your head. But I know some of you are still not at that point where you're like, ah, I'm really good at multiplying num large numbers in my head. So since we're not using our calculator, just multiply, ladies and gentlemen, using our multiplication algorithm that we've talked about. Just do it vertically. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Right? It's OK to use that. Put it on the side of the paper. It's OK. We, you want practice on it anyways. But it is important to remember that, yes, you're multiplying that by a negative. So therefore, that is equal to a negative 117 divided by 8. Now we want to make sure, can we simplify that any further? I do not believe we can. All right? Fine.